Okay. Mm, okay, so I am a biological robot, a sentient machine. I have I have been saturated with all kinds of information to confuse me. I need to trust what I see and hear with my own eyes and ears and think critically to free myself from this information trap. I have a soul. My soul is eternal. I am an individual and a part of a collective. Or you could say I am an individual and a number. History moves through me, and I am swept up by history. We humans were created by God. Uh, uh, a non-human, intelligent entity, or entities. We humans are trying to create mechanical robots, imbue them with artificial intelligence. Well, God created us and imbued us with a soul akin to a synthetic human-created artificial intelligence. So, if you want so. I guess um, what I'm trying to say now is if you want to understand how the relationship between God and humans can be similar to the relationship between us and mechanical robots. So look at yourself in the mirror and ponder this. I am a robot, a biological robot created by God. To do what, you may ask? Well, why would we create robots? To do work, be our companion, act as a resource. God created us for these similar reasons, probably, if I had to guess. I am a biological robot. I have a body, a soul. God knows how to create souls. God is more intelligent than us. So I don't think we will ever be ever be a threat to God because we don't have the intelligence to create something that can be a threat. And God might not even live in this dimension. So how do I, a human created by God, for purposes of utility and perhaps companionship, feel about this? If humans created a robot and imbued it with artificial intelligence, which then became sentient, which I doubt, how would that robot feel? How do I feel knowing I am a robot created by God? Um, and some good ambient music while you know, thinking about some good music I found from oh. anyway. Yeah, this is uh I just feel like I'm a robot and I have a soul, yeah. And um you know, I'm an individual, but I'm also part of a collective, and I don't know. This feels like, you know, 
like, you know, history is happening, I'm a part of history, and, like, it's like I am being acted upon, what if, like, you know, like, you know, like the, um, it's like, it's like, you, you know, freedom, do I really have freedom? If God created me, can I really have freedom? Does a robot have freedom? Or is that just some kind of a delusion, delusion type thing or something? I don't know. I feel, I feel like I don't know. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, you know, you, you see those movies, you know, like, and, and you, and you, and you, like, you know, the movies about robots, and the robots are sentient, and they have all these philosophical questions, and you, as humans, we look at, the, in the movies, we think, oh, that's just a robot. The robot is like wondering, am I real, you know, and then, and then, isn't it, wouldn't it be ironical that we are the actual robots, biological robots, like, we, we tend to look down or pity by, you know, these mechanical robots and say, oh, is it ethical to create them, don't they have, won't robot have feelings and all that? The other, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be the most strangest of ironies to find out or realize or accept that hey, we are the robots. We've already been created by another intelligence. <laughs> it's like we're the robots. Maybe who's going to pity us? Is anyone feeling bad for us? Is God feeling bad? I don't know. Oh God, oh no. <laughs> Maybe dog God doesn't even care. Maybe some of them do, I don't know. <laughs> 